Coach Douglas, I want to talk Cyclones. You're still involved. You're in administration currently in the athletic department at uh, at Iowa State. You know, and you were a long time. How, how many years were you the head coach at Iowa State? Fourteen years I was there. And then how many years at Arizona State? Eighteen years at Arizona State. Okay, so tons of head coaching experience at the college level. You actually told me something that was pretty crazy today. You told me you're a better coach now than you ever were. Yeah, Why I'm, is that? Well, I'm much better. I don't have the pressure of having to uh, solve a problem of one wrestler. Uh, I, can, I can evaluate them, and break down the films on all of them, be unbiased in my judgment, and uh, give, give the coach an honest answer or give the kid an honest answer. I'm not involved in the coaching, but I do break down the films and for my own personal uh, reasons. And if the coaches ask me uh, about the films, I, I share that knowledge with them. That keeps me out of that gray area of being a, a coach. Uh, Iowa State is using me somewhat like uh, Iowa is using Gable, with the exception of not having all the, uh, the benefits that Gable has in the form of uh, the National Wrestling Coaches Association. Uh, he's their... their um, their um, their page or their pitch man. He's he's constantly with the, that organization, which helps Iowa. He's also on Iowa Public TV, uh, which helps Iowa. So those are some things that Iowa State has to overcome, and uh, we're working on those things. Do you feel that uh, what you're talking about, almost the deck being stacked against uh, the Cyclones? Do you think that could be the reason that Coach Sanderson left for Penn State? Well, I, I don't know what Coach. Sanderson's reasons were. Uh, all I know is that uh, he left what I consider to be the most talented wrestling team that was ever recruited to Iowa State. Uh, and that says an awful lot because at one time they had uh, 10 All Americans at, on their lineup. But I thought and still do believe that those are gifted athletes, all of them capable of winning at the highest level. And all of them had a freestyle opportunity. They were recruited that way. It took eight years to get those guys together. And during that eight year period of time, we had to take a bath. We had to take a back seat and take some, you know, I think we ended up 16th in the nation, 19th in the nation maybe. But we had to do that in order to get that class. And once we got that class, I thought the class was destined for glory. And uh, hopefully they still are. But I, 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 according to Coach Jackson and from what I see, they have a lot, a lot of work to do in a short period of time to do it. Were you disappointed under the circumstances that, that Kale left? I was disappointed, yeah. I thought that uh, the kids were the great losers. I lost my job, but I still uh, felt that I could help those guys achieve their goals. And uh, the main thing was Iowa State deserved to have a chance to win a national title. And I thought that uh, that's, that made it very difficult for him to do that, especially when you take the points that he took with him. Uh, that, kind of killed the dream a little bit. But I think Kevin Jackson, you know, he's he's trying to make up for the points and doing everything that he can to get the Cyclones ready. It, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an uphill battle. You said he came in under very you know, difficult circumstances. How do you think he's handled those circumstances? You say he's trying to make up for it. In what ways do you think he can make up for it? And, and, and how is he? Well, I think the personal touch that he has. He's a, he has, he is, try to mold the guys in, in the framework of uh, a military, a marine company, and he's tried to develop esprit de corps. He, he is letting the guys know that this is about them, this is not about him. This is about them wanting to win for each other, developing esprit de corps. And I think that the media and uh, the image that was projected was that this was uh, more about Kale Sanderson than about Iowa State and the Cyclone wrestlers. And I think that it's hard to win unless, you're pro, unless your wrestlers are wrestling for each other and they develop a spree to core, it's impossible to win. Gable was a master of this, developing that team spirit, that common spirit that made them want to win for each other. Just like a, the Marines, when they get in that foxhole and they're fighting, they, they may be fighting for America, but they're really fighting for each other. That's what you have to develop in order to have a national championship team. And that hasn't been developed at Iowa State in a long time. Do you feel that uh, your personal relationship suffered with Kale? I mean, you coached him, you coached him to his gold medal, you coached him to his undefeated record. Do you think that suffered with, with him exiting? Uh, I think that, uh, I don't think that I'll have much contact with Kale Sanderson in the future. That's just the way Kale Sanderson is, not my, by my design, but uh, 
I always answer and return my telephone calls. I, you know, I, I haven't received very many calls uh, that I've, I've put into people lately, so I don't dwell on, on what Kill Sanderson was. Kill Sanderson was something of the past, a, a phenomenal wrestler that did some unbelievable things, but he had Iowa State behind him. He had a team, the teammates behind him, he had a coaching staff behind him that helped him do all those things. This wasn't all about Kale Sanderson. It was about the tradition at Iowa State that Kale Sanderson was a part of. And uh, Kale Sanderson had a great career, but the best is yet to come for Iowa State. They're going to have many, many great years ahead of them. What's your relationship like with Coach Jackson? You said that you know they use you at a you know almost in, in a Gable type fashion. But you know, what's your relationship like like with him, and, and, and do you feel like he's getting the administrative support he needs? I have a personal relationship with with uh, Coach Jackson, where we uh, operate as as peers, as coaches, and then we have uh, another personal relationship where we operate more like a family, as a friend. And uh, I consider him to be a friend. He he doesn't ask me for a whole lot of help, but there are times when he asks me questions and bounces things off of me, and I. I've made it very plain to Coach Jackson that I will do whatever I can to help the Cyclones be successful. And I, I, I have no reservations about doing that. How involved were you with the hiring process? Do you think that this was the number one guy you wanted? Well, I think, I think Jamie Pollard is a master at picking coaches. Uh, he has had some difficulty in keeping them, but there's no doubt in my mind he knows how to pick coaches. He would have picked pick Kevin Jackson unless he had thoroughly vented it, vented himself, and felt that this was the guy that could do the most to bring the program along. And I felt that he made an excellent choice. Was it 100% with your blessing? 100, 100, 100 plus. 100 plus? 100 plus. No, there's no question in my mind that Kevin Jackson was the best choice for that job. Are right, you got anything else for me? I got you. All right, let's go check this duel out, all right? <laughs>